U.S. Navy joins world powers to fight against Beijing in South China Sea. Australia joins world powers to mobilize against Beijing in South China Sea. The world superpowers are testing Beijing's patience in the South China Sea and they've hit back with a special warning for Australia. Beijing, be warned. Germany is sending a frigate. The UK has an aircraft carrier in the South China Sea. Australia's joining India in part of a Pacific tour. And now, the US has deployed its most potent battle group in decades. China's military will take all necessary means to deal with any provocation resolutely and effectively. Chinese Defense Ministry spokesperson Wu Qiang warned last week. China is not afraid of any provocateurs. Neither Britain nor Germany has the power to fight China in the South China Sea. While Britain and Germany, it's also India, Denmark, France, Japan, the United States and Australia. And to a lesser extent, Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, and the Philippines, all are taking part in international coordination and cooperation exercises as the warships circled through the troubled region. Beijing's Wolf Warrior Media has signaled out the US for the most intense criticism. But Australia also gets a mention. Since the US views China as its top strategic competitor, it needs to follow the rules of the great powers game and keep a distance from China's strength, it declares. Japan and Australia in particular must be warned that they need to keep their distance and that it is dangerous for them to provoke China by following the steps of the US. Germany's frigate, the Bayern, left its home port on Monday on the first leg of its voyage to Southeast Asia. During the next seven months, it will exercise in the Mediterranean, join the anti-piracy effort of Somalia and poke its nose into the South China Sea. Along the way, it will visit Vietnam, South Korea, Japan and Australia. On Wednesday, four Indian Navy warships pulled out of harbour on a two-month tour of duty to Southeast Asia and the Western Pacific. The task group, which includes a guided missile destroyer and a frigate, has been given the mission to expand security ties with friendly countries. The brand new British aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth has already passed without incident through the South China Sea. It is leading a multinational group of destroyers and frigates on a 42,000-kilometer voyage, including combat exercises involving Japan, France, Australia and the US. But the largest assembly of warships is coming from America. 
all three of its advanced Sea Wolf class nuclear attack submarines slipped into the Pacific at the same time last month. Their destinations and missions are not likely to be revealed. The aircraft carrier USS Carl Winson has put to sea landing one of the largest fleets in over a decade. With it is the Ticonderoga class guided missile cruiser USS Lake Champion and six Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers USS Chaff, USS Dewey, USS Higgins, USS Michael Murphy, USS O'Kane and USS Stockdale.